be clear in your view, Mr. Green has no culpability at all? Not at this point. Not chargeable culpability. I, I, listen, I know why people have a problem with Green. He is 58, living in a house where kids were committing crimes. That stinks, but you have to be a participant in some fashion in a crime to be charged. And at this point, Mr. Bream was not there participating that night. He didn't buy alcohol. He didn't contribute to serving alcohol. He didn't participate in the gauntlet. So that's why Mr. Bream's not charged. All these defense attorneys that want to talk about Mr. Bream and imply things through their questioning. Give us the evidence if your clients have it that Mr. Bream did something different. And at this point, I think it's getting pretty unfair to Mr. Bream that all these press conferences are about his potential criminal liability. I'd be, so I'd start to be careful if I were some people at these allegations that Mr. Breen has committed a criminal act when he has yet to be charged. If there's evidence that someone wants to give the prosecution about Mr. Breen, bring it. Otherwise, I don't feel comfortable continuing to talk about it as if he's in trouble for something. If we uncover it, I'll let you know. I don't think it's funny that anyone get away with a crime. Most of you guys have questioned me privately, have I overcharged? So you know, if someone in this case is, is guilty of something, we will be the first ones to lodge those charges if we have a prima facie credible case. So there, there's no way that you can be thinking that we have information on Mr. Bream that we're ignoring. So at this point, I think the Bream thing has been a dead horse that's been beat to death. We'll see what happens in court, but I'm telling you at this point, we will continue to investigate. If there's any evidence that constitutes credible evidence of a crime, we will follow it and we will charge it.